Hello, my name is Marty Stepanko and I became a Bernal Jack organizer in the past six months. So I want to talk a little bit about our local Javaizer group and how you can participate and what is it about. So basically, if you've been here in Brno before COVID, we used to have this Brno Java meetup that was run by people from Hazelcast mostly that were doing semi-periodic uh, talks, but uh, pre-COVID it was uh, easier. Uh, after COVID I took it uh, from the guys because they no longer had time for it and in the past uh, half a year we did already three talks and we are going to have a uh, fourth one on 28th of June. Uh, Last month I registered this Java Meetup officially with uh, Oracle to become a uh, Brno Java user group. So now you can find us on Oracle website with all the jugs. And uh, we are in collaboration with CZ Jug in Prague. Uh, uh, on, we actually have a Meetup group on meetup.com meetup that we currently should have this. That you should tell me this before, no? Yeah, actually, <laughs> the previous uh, presenter forgot to leave it for <laughs> That's funny. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, on? Uh, okay, so let's continue. Uh, so on the meetup.com we have over 580, I think, members. But after COVID we are really struggling to get people in person to these meetups. So this is why I decided to have this lighting talk. Uh, we also, uh, like, wh why I decided to rebrand this and create a new community is basically a few reasons. Uh, the first ones I already mentioned, and the third one is that the original Bono Java meetups were happening in a pub in Živou Palečka, where there is a really bad projector. So uh, many people came for a beer and <laughs> didn't have much from the talk. So. I wait for photos. <laughs> so uh, we are making now the first meetup on the 28th with a bunch of changes. First thing, we are changing the venue. We are moving to Faculty of Informatics at Masaryk University at Botanicka uh, Street in Inbrno, where uh, we will have definitely better uh, everything because it's university standard. Uh, we also have a possibility because now I am in contact with the people at the university to potentially get even the big lecture rooms if eventually would, there would be interest from that many people. Uh, so, and we also have uh, now a small budget from Red Hat as official sponsor, so we will have a small after party with provided catering. So there will be beer. I need to put this in, you know, like... <laughs> Bolt. <laughs> uh, why I decided to do something like this? I was actually lucky enough to be invited to so-called uh, Tour de Swiss Jacks uh, at the beginning of May, where uh, I went to three different jacks in Switzerland in three days. Uh, and I had the opportunity to see what Java community can become. In, uh, if you are interested, this is jack.ch like Jack Switzerland, and uh, you can find them there. They have, this was only uh, German speaking part of Switzerland, which is I think five or six cities. And in every city they already are running this for more than 26 years. If you know how old Java is, then you can guess like this was pretty early. And each talk was around like 20 to 30 people. And the talk itself went great. Uh, but after party, after each event with the provided catering was something else. That kind of networking opportunities, many of these people, this is not just to show you how cool long hair I have in the wind. Uh, I, I meant uh, really good people that are interested in our technologies as our, in our products. I stayed in contact with them and we are still continuously discussing different possibilities for them to come here, for me again to come there. Etc. So uh, this kind of networking opportunity is something that I want to create for people here in Brno to really grow the uh, community of Java developers around the meetup. Uh, 
uh, yeah, if you are interested, like why, why this is happening like such a nicely, and again, they have a lot of years on top of us. If you go into this wing, you will get a very nice presentation that I was playing before my talks, where they list around 30 to 40 companies that are supporting them <laughs> in the five cities, which means that they have really nice budget. So in other words, if you are working for a company that would be interested in supporting local meetups, and I see very many redhead faces here, so that sucks. <laughs> Uh, please ask if somebody would be interested now, for instance, in talks with Oracle to get them also presenting and also some kind of support. This will take time, but this is my goals. So this is what we are trying to achieve. Uh, yeah, I already mentioned the after party. And uh, again, as I already mentioned, there is uh, already ongoing collaboration with CZ Jack, which is in Prague, uh, by a chance also run by a Slovak guy, because we are active in Czech Republic, it seems. <laughs> uh, so uh, I think that we would be definitely able to get some ta similar type of tour the Czech Jacks in the future, if there would be like someone able to like do this for us. And I already know a few speakers because uh, I, my personal context that would be willing to do this kind of, like one day Prague, one day Brno or other way around. And potentially we will get more jugs in different cities. What do I know? Okay. And yes, what we need right now, especially I think that uh, Corona brought all of us into more like cozy home environments. And I think that this is a big reason why people are not willing to, thank you, uh, are not willing to no longer come physically to a meetup. But for me, at least personally, this is a different type of experience when you can talk to people and exchange the experiences. Uh, definitely, I think that there is, like if you just watch everything online, yes, you will learn the stuff that you want to learn about, but it's uh, that experience of that after party where you make contact, when you can basically learn about po no new possibilities of where to take whatever you are doing somewhere else. Uh, definitely, if we are going to continue this, I will need to work more on the sponsors because uh, it's expensive if you are paying for everything. <laughs> but uh, so far, so good. Like 15 people is okay. 50 people would be a problem for me right now. <laughs> uh, uh, because we are moving this to uh, faculty, uh, we will be taking now a pause during the summer, but starting from September, I definitely think that I can do every month till the end of the year. So for talks from September to December, but uh, depending on the speakers, how many speakers I can get, at least every second month I would like to have a meetup. And because we are now moving to faculty, there is also possibility to do this uh, in hybrid mode, so we can actually stream it online and uh, make recordings. And I already mentioned collaboration with CZ Jack, so we can skip that. Okay, and where to find us? This is the important slide. Uh, we have now uh, Twitter, Mastodon, definitely meetup.com, where we still schedule uh, new meetups. And uh, basically, that's it. Do you have any questions or ideas? Also, if you would be interested in collaboration in organizing this kind of events, just reach out to me, because currently it's only me and a few other people that are working around it, uh, which I'm uh, like kind of still everything needs to go through me. <laughs> so if I can offload something and people would be interested, then just please ask. Any questions? Then I think that I'm finished. Thank you. Oh yeah, I forgot to include the sneak peek for upcoming talks. So I can go into Meetup, and I can go into Meetup. <laughs> uh, I, I, I yeah, I, I know it's the DevConf CZ, you know, and Brno. 
2023. Yeah. So it's hard to do it on the second monitor. What is happening here? Let's go. Now. Ah, oh, it's hard when I don't see it, so I will put it here. We will look into very small terminal now. <laughs> So the next talk, and this is perfect. The next talk will be uh, done by Michal Winkler, OpenShift serverless in action. So basically how to do Java in uh, as serverless applications. If you are interested, here it is. Thanks for the good point. <laughs> okay, then I think I'm finished. Thank you for your attention.